Welcome to the Max 101 channel. Today we will not be talking about the Max or the West, even if the title kind of led you to believe that. It is going to be my idea for a commuter rail system, but not the West. Now this idea would just simply be to construct a very simple commuting line. Not much construction would be needed except to build the stations and to add overhead catenary wires as I think that's very important. Side note, and this would be a topic for a different day, I think all freight train lines and freight lines should probably be going electrified in some way, putting overhead contact lines. That's a whole video for a whole different day. This system, this Portland commuter train or whatever you'd call it, would be electric with overhead catenary wires. So simply the route here would follow the Amtrak tracks from Union Station in Portland all the way to Salem. The exact Amtrak route from Portland to Salem. Now there's obviously the station in Oregon City as well. If you ride Amtrak or if you look at the Amtrak Cascades map you'll see that there's Oregon City in there as well. There are also some additional stations and things that I will cover now, trains would begin or end in Portland at Union Station, although I suppose you could have them begin at the Vancouver Station as well, because a lot of people do commute across the river and go into Portland or Vancouver. So either starting point makes sense. They continue to and across the steel bridge and onto the east side, and there would be a new stop at Bybee Boulevard where you could transfer to Max. Then there could be a possible station in Sunnyside, kind of near Clackamas. Yeah, the landscape here is kind of weird. I don't know how the tracks can make it so close to Clackamas in such a small amount of time, but yeah, possible station in Sunnyside. Of course the Oregon City Station would be served. A new bus line may also have to be created that goes from the Oregon City Station to the Oregon City Transit Center where you can transfer to other TriMet routes. I don't know if such a thing already exists, but I admittedly haven't looked very hard, but I don't think it does. Having some sort of free shuttle, 30-foot buses or something that goes from the Oregon City Station to the Oregon City Transit Center, I think that would be useful because you can technically walk it, but it's a long walk. Then there would be a fairly large distance all the way until Canby with a station located somewhere here. Then there would be another possible station in Aurora and yet another possible station in Hubbard. Woodburn would for sure get a station. It could possibly be at the Chemeketa Community College. Then there would be another large distance all the way until Salem. Gervais would get no stops because it's basically just entirely housing. There would be a possible station at Brook Lake Road in Salem, but for sure the line would end at the Salem Station near the downtown area. Let's black out the screen and I will put a list of stations on screen. You can see them now. Portland will use Union Station. There would be a stop called East Moreland, which is the one at Bybee Boulevard. Possible station at Sunnyside, then for sure stations at Oregon City and Canby. Possible stations at Aurora and Hubbard. 
Woodburn would get a station, Brooklake Road might get a station, and then of course, Salem. So now let's talk about the train cars. This system would use what's known as EMUs, electric multiple units. But what are those? Well, the West in Beaverton, Tiger, Tualatin, and Wilsonville uses DMUs, diesel multiple units, meaning the trains run on diesel power. So an EMU runs electrically from some sort of source, in this case an overhead catenary wire. This is a model tram that I got when I was like 14, um, but this is not how the trains would be. This is more just like a tram. It has a pantograph. Imagine a wire going across here, the catenary wire. So as it travels down the track, it's doing its thing. Okay, well, it would be doing that because, right, I've said that this would have an overhead catenary system. But this is just like a low floor tram. It's just seating, uh, just standard streetcar, tram, whatever. The train cars in this commuting system would be more like Amtrak except with overhead catenary power. There would be multiple train cars coupled together and each one would be slightly different. I would think one train car is probably all you need to have touching the overhead wire um, as the sets of trains can be hooked together. So you would have a power car that deals with the electricity. You might have another train car that has a motor, so it would be your motor car. And then you might have a trailer car in the back that's just kind of your control car. Kind of like how the West has that one two car train and it has that control car um, that's not powered. It's kind of like that. The coaches would of course be wheelchair accessible and there would be three, maybe four train cars long. I would expect this would get very high ridership thanks to the fact that people work in Portland and Salem and Vancouver and this is just a highly convenient and fast option. Imagine if you were faced with, oh, well I could drive to work today, but I have to drive all the way from Salem to Portland to get to work. Well, that daunting task is made much easier by a fast train traveling 70 to 80 miles an hour on the track from Salem to Portland with just a few stops. Something I forgot to mention with the overhead wires, though. The wires have to be high enough to clear those excess height cars because I have been on the steel bridge before and seen those excess height cars go through so the wire's going to need to have enough clearance to clear those excess height cars. So how does a commuter use this service? Well, you board wherever you're going to board. Let's say I lived in Salem. So I'm going to hop on the train at the Salem station, and you could either purchase a special ticket for these trains, or hop cards. Yeah, I would say let's get the hop card going into other places as well. As I've said before in my very extended look at hop cards in a recent video I made, um, yeah, I really think the hop card should be used on all transit agencies just to make one regional card for all. Hmm, where have I heard that before? So this would be, because it is more of an upscale service, I would say if you tapped your hop card on a reader through here, it would just charge you double the price of a normal hop ticket. So if you use this train to commute to and from work, it would cost you 10 bucks every day. If that seems like too much, then there could be a backup option, but it might be confusing for Portlanders who are not used to this. I've used the Orca cards in Seattle, and I'm kind of used to it, but it is still a bit weird, where you tap the card on the reader when you board, and then you tap again when you exit, only on the Link and Sounder trains. On every other service, and for all Portland services, as far as I'm aware, it's just a single tap and it's a flat fare, so it's always going to charge you the same amount. So, let's say you introduced a tap on, tap off system where it would charge you based on how far you traveled. So if I got on at the Salem station and got off at the Portland station, well that's the entire line. Or if you added the Vancouver station onto that, then it would be pretty much the entire line. So it would pretty much be charging me that 
doubled the price anyways. But if, say, I only traveled from Portland to Oregon City, and I just went a few stations, well, that wouldn't really be fair to charge the whole double price kind of thing, so it might only charge you for $5. But if you went outside, say, Multnomah County, it might charge you more. And then once you go outside wherever that next county is and go into Marion County, then it would charge you more for that too. I'm making this way too confusing, but basically you would tap on at the beginning of your destination, and then you would tap off when you exit the train at your exit station. And it would charge you based on how far you traveled, either by how many counties you traveled through, or maybe how many stops. You could probably iron all that out, but I really think it's important to get hot card support for something like this. I think it just makes it all that much easier. And maybe this would inspire other transit agencies to hop on board the hop system and just make it much easier to transfer to other transit agencies. That way you really could get anywhere you wanted on any transit agency from one card. So the only major issue here is where would you store the trains and how would you get everybody's permission to build this whole sort of thing? Well. There are a few yards throughout the area that have already been constructed that the Max Orange Line goes by or over. Some of those tracks over there, there are train yards. I'm not sure if they would let you store full-on commuting trains through there though, so you may have to build your own. Luckily, there is a lot of farmland. There's a lot of little plots of land. You don't need to buy the whole plot of land, just a small stretch to store all the trains in. Uh, there's a lot of rural areas through here, so it should hopefully be easy enough to do all of that. That's really the biggest issue. And as far as getting other cities to agree to this sort of thing, well, I'm not sure that's such a big issue either. There are a lot of commuter rail systems, especially in the northeast part of the United States. Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York that general area of the US has excellent commuter rail service so you know I wouldn't see this being too big of an issue it may have to be government funded it may not be a TriMet operation um, it just might be a good connection to TriMet and other transit agency things but if Seattle built a good commuter rail system then I think Portland could easily build a good commuter rail system and keep the West and hopefully electrify it or get battery electric multiple units because yes, those are a thing. But anyways, I thank you for watching this video and I will see you Friday with some transit ride video.